over this one. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, here we have an equation, y squared equals 3x. All right, now what we're going to want to do for this is they're asking us to find the focus, the directrix, the vertex, and then to sketch the graph. All right, now the first thing I'm going to want to do, and you might even want to write this down, like the first thing is you need to determine, is this graph going to be opening left or right or up or down? Well, remember when we noticed those two equations? We noticed that this has y squared, right? Well, x squared was the one that opened up or down, right? That's what you previously learned is when x was squared. So now we have y squared. We know that this graph is going to open up left or right because y is squared, right? Now, the next thing that you can help you out, even though we haven't confirmed it yet, you can look at as far as what your p would be and determine if p is positive. Remember, that's going to open to the right. And if p is negative, that's going to open to the left. So what I'm going to want to do is write this in the format of what we talked about, which is y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. Right? That was our standard formula that I wrote down with you guys. Right? So what I want to do is try to rewrite this in that format. Now you notice, well, I'm not subtracting y or x from anything. Well, we can still rewrite this as y minus 0 squared equals 3 times x minus 0. Would everybody agree that's the exact same equation, but written in a format that's a little bit easier to relate what my h and k are? Would everybody agree? OK? Well, yep, so exactly. So what we're going to do is now just go step by step. Will, is there something else I need? OK. Yeah, I haven't got to that yet. No, no. I, listen, 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 listen. Courtney? Courtney, this is not really the time right now. If you guys notice, this is the same equation. Don't worry about this one right now. Just look at all I did is I took this equation and I rewrote it so I could know my verti vertex. All right? Will, put the calculator down, please. So therefore, does it make sense for me to be able to say that my vertex is at 0, comma 0? Yeah, right? Those are my h and my k. Right? Now, the next thing is I want to find the p value. If I can determine what the p value is, I can determine does the graph go left and right, as well as I can determine where is going to be my focus and where is my directrix. So to find the p value, this is equal to 4p, right? Those are in the same positions, correct? So I say 4p equals 3. Now I need to find my value of p. So I divide by 4. P equals 3 fourths. Now, since my value of P is positive, I know my graph is going to open to the right. All right? So we just graph like this. So now all I simply do is I know my vertex. That's easy, right? That's 0, 0. Now remember P, since we're opening to the right, right? Remember P tells us the distance from our vertex to our focus. So I'm going to be adding it to the x or the y coordinate of my vertex? Y. X. x. Yeah, there you go. So if this is h and k, all I'm going to do is add it to, um, so this is at 0, 0. So now my focus is going to be at 0 plus 3 fourths, comma 0. Right? Well, and obviously that's just 3 fourths, comma 0. And then my directrix, I am going to subtract the p-value. So I'll have something like this. And since it's vertical, I can say x equals a negative 3 fourths. Yes, Priscilla? Question? Because um, remember, look at this. My y is squared, right? When you had a parabola that looked like this, the equation of this, if just go forget about, forget about conics for a second. The equation for this, you could say, is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Would you agree with that? Yeah. The x is squared, right? So we know all when x is squared, that's going to be opening up or down. In this equation, my y is squared. So that's going to tell me my graph is going to be opening left or right. OK? Anybody have any questions on that? Because now I just determined what the, focus, what the vertex was, the focus, and the directrix. So now I can sketch it. Yes, Michaela? Okay, how did you find the directrix? 
Remember, the distance from the vertex to the focus is P, right? So P is 3 fourths. So I added it to the x coordinate to find the focus, which is right there. Then to get to the directrix, I just subtract P because it's the same distance. But now it's in the opposite direction, so I'm going to subtract it. Okay? Any last questions on that?